What's up there, YouTubers? Black Zen here, and welcome back to another Random Builds review. For this video, we are going to be continuing on with the Grand Kaiser from the Motoroid God of Gravion sets made by the Good Smile Company. So, in the previous video, we kind of did two of his arms, although one is not actually combining yet, and of course, a part of the torso. Which is uh, basically right here. We also did his head. It's not exactly connected to a neck or anything, but these are still good. We also clipped out this uh, extra crown piece meant for his elgo mode or elgo form. I'll, we'll get to this a bit in a Another video when Grand Kaiser is completed. So in any case, continuing on, let's get right to it. Okay, as I say, we'll be continuing on. So I believe I left off in step number 13 here. Okay, this was this part. I think this is the right side of the Grand Kaiser. Hmm. Okay. So, picking up with 14 and 15, we need a GD tray. Take one of these here. And it looks like I'm going to be making some shoulder pads. Or at least some uh, transformable ones. So I need parts GD3, 4, and 10. Clipped out, and I can see some under gates. Okay. There goes one. There goes two. Get this other pad off. Just to complete the shoulder. Right. Just gotta slide this back in somehow. The under gates I saw. Oh, there's one. I can see it. Okay. And get the other. Okay. That's a little peg going into this odd shaped hole right here. And it also has a bit of a transformation function. When you extend it, I'm just gonna sandwich that up.
Should probably get a marker and paint that up a bit. You can see a few uh, white scuff marks. That goes. And you've got a shoulder for the Grand Kaiser. Okay. Now for the other side. And of course we say second verse, same as the first. Okay. C tray. Uh, front side. Okay. C eight. And C seven in the back. Back, front, uh, so we need GB, put this tray back here, and I'm starting to get trays falling on hand, ah, what a mess, eh. I should get more tray organizers. This is a hassle. Okay. Part one. And get part two for the back. It's easy to tell if you haven't placed them in the right order. Okay. I'll just leave that over there for right now. And so C8 and GB1 goes first. C7 and GB6. At least I hope that was number six. Yeah, that's number six, all right. Okay. Take a part of the arm, strain it out. You know, I don't mean take it apart like uh, dismantling it, I mean take. A part of the arm that's already there and just uh, place it right in <laughs> okay All right, now we need a GG7. Let's see, which one has a number seven I need? Huh. Okay. Since there are two trays, I already used one from the other. Yep. 
that down. Actually, I want to put that back. Hmm. Now, this goes over the existing arm. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah, that's on track. Okay. There we go. Give it a somewhat rotating shoulder. And now this goes on. And the other side sort of matches. Well, sort of. We still have to give it the uh, other shoulder guard. So, so I need more parts from another GD tray. And of course, there'll be some undergates to uh, clip out. And yes, these are pretty much the same parts as in the first GD tray. Sometimes you have to remember some trays will be a duplicate in order to mirror one side. Okay, now just to get these on real good. And just to slide this on. Two sides now. Let's see, where are we? Oh, torso time. At least that's what I think it is. Okay. Step 22. Need parts A1, A2, C5, and D6. Okay. Uh, tray A. Now I want one of the two C's and a D. Okay, part six is there. It is right in the smack dab in center of the tray. Got that part. C5. Here's number five. Way in the corner. Okay. 
Okay. And I think I'll just set that off to the side for right now. So no mood to put it with back with the others. One and part two, yeah, it's right next to it. Uh, bollocks. You know, since we already have a head, I'm going to give Grand Kaiser a neck. So I'm going to clip out A3 just for the heck of it. A little ball joint. So he can move his head around on his neck. All right, back to the task at hand. Get rid of these darn under gates. And I missed one on the other side. Now to get these parts in together. Okay, so part C5 has a bit of a uh, bump, which is mostly facing forward. I want the flat side towards the back, which has like this little notch in the back of these parts. Uh, D6. This part has more of a uh, curved dome you want facing up. Just place it inside. Alright, and now you just sandwich that all in. Okay. I think that's the robot's waistline. Why do I call him a robot? Yeah. <laughs> Two parts from tray B. Next. So I'm at four and a five, and I can see them right next to each other. The rest of this tray has uh, some sort of odd connector, and the rest looks like a hand apart, so I think we'll be dealing with this one a bit later. Probably when we get to the uh, pelvis or the hands, or sometime in a later video. I'm not sure. Okay, so B5. In the back.
Right. And that gets sandwiched with. Oh, I got the part upside down. Oops. Okay, tweezers, give me some help here. Or nippers, excuse me. I'm always catching myself saying something wrong and then uh, I have to correct myself. All right. Yeah, it's starting to look something like the body. Step 24. Tray GB again. Parts 13 and 14. There's one. There's the other. And I'm knocking parts over. How dare I? How dare I? And I'm guessing we're making a sort of a backpack. Oh, so it is a backpack. I can see the thrusters. Huh. Right. Next up, take some of our parts and just yeah, try to put them together somehow. There goes one. Two. And next up, backpack goes on. Yeah. Two peg holes and other two pegs go into the two holes and it looks like a track. Uh, I see what's going on. I see. So the track keeps everything together. Nice. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to attach the head a little early. And Grand Kaiser is coming along for this Gravion set. Ooh, okay. So this time we get uh, Grand Kaiser's chest plate out. Really nice painted piece. Okay. So you can see right there. This part is more yellow, and it, and it is painted, by the way. There's no sticker work. So I'm kind of happy that uh, Good Smile thought of it. We also need part GM1. Mm 
Now, I'm not going to try and put this on prematurely. Otherwise, I'm going to have a hard time getting that uh, piece off. Okay, so according to the directions, I need a sticker one. Let me get my tweezers here. Nice red circle from the looks of things. Okay, sticker is on. Now that gets covered up. And I think that really makes a nice difference. All right. I just place it right on to where the body is now secure for its transformational use. And hey, I really have to say this the figure is turning out quite well. Anyways, the uh, this little tray is now finished. I don't think we'll need it anymore. Because single parts only get one use. So. Okay, now we're in for some pelvis work this time. So I'm going to need a B tray back. With part number nine. Two parts from GB, numbers 21 and 24. This goes right. slot is more of an upper side of where below it has a lot more room. I want to make sure it's flushed. Oops. I'll just sandwich that up. B20 or GB20 I should say it looks like we have a back skirt and see 
GBC one. So the skirt goes into the back first. And gets onto the figure, like so. few more from GB with parts numbers 3, 4, 19, and 18. Okay, so where are... Okay, I see them. I see them. I see them. Okay, so number three. We'll go on to my right. And number four on my left. Eighteen will also go on my left, as nineteen will be on my right, and of course this will be mirroring the Grand Kaiser. The left is left, the right is right, or is right left, or is left right? Yay! <laughs> it's a matter of perspective, so please try to understand that. Eighteen and nineteen, if I can get this one. Okay. So these appear to be skirt flaps, I think. to think that they're sort of a uh, thrusters of some sort. I'm, I'm not really sure I'm going to uh, quote on that. <laughs> okay. I almost want to say this looks like a bit of a ship or a platform right now. I, I'm I can't tell. <laughs> okay, three more parts from GB. Numbers 11, 12, and 15. Okay. And of course with the undergates. What's with the undergates? There are so many undergates here. Bah! One, 
안녕하세요. 3 Oh wait, did I miss one on this? Yes, I did. Yeah. What's with me and missing undergates these days? Yeah. All right, so this part goes right in the crotch. Jeez. GC3 and GC2. All right. Okay, so now I gotta figure out what I just did. This one. So you can always look at the initial diaphragm. Some would say that this is a way of cheating, but I would say it's a way of helping out a confused mind when they get lost. Challenging, perhaps, but insightful. Okay. Look at the other one. Oh, forgot about that. these attached there's one I do not want this to break goes a skirt. Okay, I'll admit this is a little bit stiff, but I really don't care right now, but I am enjoying getting this figure built. With the Grand Kaiser of this Gravion set halfway done, I say he's almost ready for having to get his legs built. But seeing as he's got a uh, pelvis and most of his torso done, eh. I say I can put these two together. OK, 
Okay, so it's not just the legs he's missing, but also his hands. So I'll probably do those in the next video. And hopefully with some speed building, because the legs are symmetrical. But overall, I do like how the Grand Kaiser is uh, turning out. Now, why are these holes in the uh, side skirts? I'll never know. Unless that's part of the design for the Ultimate Gravion. So, in case you guys had forgotten in the first video when I unboxed him and this entire set, it showed an image of the Ultimate Gravion on the back of the package. So if you want to have a look at that, go have a look at... It should be in my channel... If not, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to find. Yeah. But in any case, I am liking how this is turning out. So as soon as we get the hands and legs done for the Grand Kaiser, he'll be a complete figure. But that will still leave about four vehicles left in order to form Gravion. Such as the G-Driller, the G-Shadow... G Attacker and G Striker. Actually, I think the, I'll leave those two as a single build since they're both symmetrical. So, at least that won't be until the next uh, hat draw. Alright, uh, in any case, I'm going to leave it here. And I'll be back with the next video when we complete him up. And this is Black Xana saying, Tower Deactivated. I'll be back with many more good videos. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't. And also subscribe to my game channel. Link in the description below. And I'll see you all until next time. Bye!